So today I'm going to be showing you how to get this chrome text effect. It's actually really easy and it's going to take you like two, three minutes. First thing you need is text, obviously. So you're going to right click, press new and then text. Or if you want to do the text, you can press layer new and then text. We're going to put our name. I'm going to do my name. Uh, you could do any font, honestly. Okay. I think I found one. So I'm going to delete this stroke, get rid of it, and then I'm going to center my text. Once you have your text in place, what you're going to do now is find a chrome texture. So I'm going to go to Safari. I already have it open. Just pick one of these. I'm just going to do this one. I'm pretty sure I used this before. So boom, command I or control I open, drag our image into our timeline. It was good. Sorry guys. Anyways, you're gonna press S on the image and you're gonna scale this up. And then if you want, you add motion tile. That's what I do. Chrome texture, link in the description. After you have that, what you're gonna do is pre-compose this. And then you're going to press move all attributes into new composition, press okay. Now add CC glass. Add this onto our composition, go under surface. And then we're gonna change this and do our text. And as you can see, you can already see like the little outline. Now we're going to change the softness until we get like what we want. And we're going to change like, you could change the height, but you really don't. If you don't like it, press control Z, add CC blobalize. And then once you add that, it's going to give us this, but you have to go to blobbiness, change this to the text. And then boom, we have our stuff. It's very blobby right now, but we're going to like have it kind of like give us that liquid effect. Now we're going to make a keyframe near the end and we're actually going to set this to zero. You're also going to make a keyframe for cutaway and then you're going to go to beginning and then you're going to change the softness to like around 20, 30. And then you're going to change the cutaway to 100. Yeah, close to 100 guys disable this layer so then we don't see that text anymore so the eyeball tool and then once we play this back we get this like liquid reveal it's really cool and then after like a few seconds you can do two more keyframes go towards the end turn the softness back no wait turn the softness back up and then it is going to fade out and they can also change the cutaway but yeah it's honestly not that important and then it fades out i'm just gonna add a little zoom in real quick a nice subtle zoom in so yeah that is the end of this tutorial thank you guys so much for watching i love you so much thank you for 5.5 5.6k i'm sorry guys i'm not catching up i hope you have a wonderful day i love you and bye